What's up guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to steal enemy ships in Starfield. Right now, as you can see, we're aboard the Frontier, which is the default ship that you start with, although mine has been a little bit modified to carry more cargo. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start by going back to a spaceport to change to a different ship. So I'm just gonna head to New Atlantis. All right, so now we're here at Ship Services and just gonna talk to the technician and change ship. This is actually not an essential part of the process. However, it may make your life a little bit easier if you do have access to a different ship, but don't worry if you don't. Okay, so I'm gonna change this watchdog here. And the reason is that this ship is actually a lot smaller and lighter and therefore it's just more maneuverable in space combat. Again, you definitely don't need to do this, especially if you're earlier in the game. But if you do have a more agile fighter type ship, then I recommend taking it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video about ship building and the various uses of the different ship builds. But for now, we're just gonna take this ship by making it our home ship. Then we're gonna head out and find some trouble. Okay, so we'll probably talk about how to find enemy ships in a different video. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go to a neighboring system around Cheyenne because I find a lot of the systems around here are pretty easy to find pirates. All right, so immediately we found some pirates here. And the first thing I wanna note is how I have my power assigned. We're basically just focusing on engines, shields, and lasers and uh, nothing else really matters for how we want to do this but we've got two enemy fighters here and we're going to focus on just killing one and then we're going to try and steal the last remaining one because these are lower level ships you can see it's just level 16 it doesn't really matter that much about assigning power to ballistics or missiles because they're going to go down really easy anyway Obviously, we can just assign some power to missiles right here. Take this uh, ship out a little bit faster. But lower level ships are pretty easy to deal with. Uh, even just with lasers. So if you want to keep it simple, you can. Okay, there we go. So one enemy ship is taken out. So now, before we actually steal this ship, I want to talk about the next most important part of doing this, which is in the skills menu. So in order to steal enemy ships in space, you're going to want to disable them. And for that, you're going to want this targeting control systems skill. If you start with a bounty hunter background, you'll already have this. If not, you will need to assign a skill point to this in order to specifically target the engines of an enemy ship. Okay, so once you've got that skill assigned, we can now focus on taking out this enemy's engines. Now, what we want to do is get this enemy lined up in our sights, press R to target lock and select engines. And we're just going to use our lasers to damage the engines. You will lose target lock periodically where you just want to redo it by getting back in the line of sight and again how this works is you just got to be close to an enemy in the line of sight press r to target lock you can use a and d to select which part of the ship you want to target and just select engines and yeah we're just going to keep spamming lasers and the reason we're using lasers is because we don't want to actually do too much damage to the enemy hull because if we do we're just going to end up blowing up the ship instead of disabling its engines. So the trick to doing this, especially to lower level enemies, is making sure you don't do too much damage per hit. So now we can see the engines are offline because they're now red. So we can exit targeting and now we can press R to dock as long as we're close enough to the enemy ship. Okay, so now we're docked, we can hold X to board. And now what we need to do is clear out the ship of enemies. By default, the game will actually highlight enemies as objectives as well as your ship and the enemy cockpit as well okay so we can see that we've uh still got some enemies on the mini map in the bottom left sometimes the enemies will actually hide so you might have to hunt them down a little bit but as long as you explore every room in the ship you'll find them easily
So you can see these enemies are actually highlighted as objectives. Which means we have to kill them in order to take over the ship. Okay, so now all the enemies are defeated. We can take over the ship. And all we do to do that is go to the cockpit, proceed to get inside. And as long as you have high enough piloting skill, you'll be able to take control and fly the ship to wherever you want. This is where there's kind of a twist. If you go to the skills menu and click on the piloting skill, first of all, I highly recommend getting the piloting skill before doing this because unlocking ship's thrusters actually really helps during combat as well because you have much more maneuverability. We can explain that in a future video as well. But you can see here at rank three, you unlock the ability to pilot class B ships. And at rank four, you unlock the ability to pilot class C ships. So you will be able to take control of any low level class A ships, even without the piloting skill. But just so you know, if you do this and you're unable to pilot the ship, it's because you don't have a high enough piloting skill. And most likely, particularly if you're in the early game, it's gonna be a class B ship if you can't pilot it right away. And all you need to do to unlock rank three is to just defeat a bunch of ships basically in combat. And you can see even to unlock the ability to pilot class C ships, you have to destroy 30 more ships. So there we go. I just wanted to include this detail because it's definitely possible even really early in the game that you try and commandeer a ship and you don't have high enough piloting skill. So if that happens, that's how you take care of that. All right, so back to the ship. Now all we need to do to claim this ship is undock. Now we can see our ship there. And I know this may seem strange at first, like you're just leaving your ship behind, but one of your crew members will actually fly this ship back to a spaceport, so don't worry. Now from this point, all we have to do is go back to a spaceport. So we're gonna go back to New Atlantis again. Now this is where you should be warned. If you're commandeering a pirate ship, there is a chance that it's carrying contraband. Okay, so usually when you do this, all that will happen is that you'll get scanned and if the ship has contraband you'll get a small fine and they might take you to jail and make you serve a little bit of time but if that happens don't worry it's very minor it doesn't impact you in a major way serving time in jail is just like waiting a little bit and the fines in my experience are usually very very small so as long as you have a little bit of credits on you you'll be fine however i do want to clarify without spoiling that there is a chance that something very cool happens on the event of you getting scanned if the ship contains contraband depending on how many times you do this and what kind of ship it is that you've commandeered but i don't want to spoil it but i just want to reassure you don't worry it's not ruined your game it's actually something super super cool so there's a little teaser of something you can expect there. So now we're just going to continue and land. And now this ship does actually belong to us. However, you will be unable to modify or upgrade this ship without paying to register it. And to do that, you go up to a technician, click on I'd like to view and modify my ships. Now you can see down here in the bottom right, we can click to register or just press G. And the registration fee, I believe, is just a percentage of the value of the ship, which you can see here. It's also worth noting that it's totally worth exploring the ship and fully looting it because there can be a ton of loot and credits just left lying around. Obviously, you can loot all the dead bodies. But some ships will even have loot chests with credits and armor and weapons inside. It's also worth checking the cargo hold, by the way, which once you've claimed the ship, you can quickly do by checking the inventory and then pressing cargo hold. And there'll be an option for credits here if there is actually just credits stashed in the cargo. So we can actually see if we try and select another ship that we have that option here to go into the ship builder. But if we go to the ship that we just stole, there's no option to enter the builder. So we click register. This one's going to cost us 24,000 credits. So as you can see, it's just a percentage of the value. Click confirm. And now this ship is permanently ours. And we can customize it and upgrade it to our heart's content. That's just about going to do it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a nice positive comment for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for future content. If you want to support the content directly, they can do so on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nick Rawcliffe. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that. I do stream live on this very YouTube channel and also live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nick Rawcliffe. So I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that as well. You can join my Discord and follow me on social media at the links below. And until next time, have a good one.